Hey, happy Wednesday. It's hump day halfway through the week. I'm Kalina Estrinos in for Kristen Smith. Welcome to the morning wrap. So this is the bridge between your morning and your afternoon, and it is a show that's designed for us to be closer to you. So feel free to drop us a comment across our social media pages using the hashtag KCAL News, and we might even read it live on the air. Then to kick things off with our top headlines of the day, we have assignment desk manager Mark Liu here live at the desk. Mark, I'm going to join you in just a second, but what do you have for us so far? Yeah, good morning, Kalina. We're tracking several stories this morning, including this pursuit that ended in a deadly crash in Panorama City. LAPD officers were chasing a stolen pickup truck which slammed into another car, killing two innocent people. Now, this all happened last night at around 8 p.m. when LAPD officers spotted a stolen Toyota Tacoma pickup truck on South Alvarado near Olympic in the Westlake District. That's when a police chase began, and unfortunately, the truck crashed into a Honda Civic. Now, the crash happened on the corner of Woodman Avenue and Lanark Street. The officers were actually pulling back and going into something called tracking mode when this incident happened, killing those two people in the Honda. One person was pronounced dead at the scene, while the other died en route to the hospital. And we're just learning details about those two innocent victims killed in that crash. This morning, family members of one of the men left flowers at the crash site. They also shared a photo of 46-year-old Chris Teagarden. Teagarden and his best friend Tim Schultz grew up together in the valley. Tea Garden's family tells us there's no way to measure their loss. He coached Little League at Granada Hills Little League. He was loved by so many. He has nieces and nephews and, and my children that are going to miss him. And he was like the life of our family. And he's going to be missed. And it's never going to be the same without him. Yeah, Tea Garden leaves behind a wife and an 18 year old son. Schultz leaves behind a longtime girlfriend and a 16 year old daughter. Now, a witness also told us that the driver and the passenger in the stolen truck attempted to flee on foot, but were also apprehended. We're also hearing that one of the suspects was injured during a use of force takedown incident and was also shot with a taser. Um, and Mark, as we reflect on this story, it is such a sad story, a tragic story. Um, we're curious to know, since you're you know behind the scenes and you track all of this stuff, what's some of the procedures or some of the methods that LAPD goes through to try to make sure these pursuits are done safely? Yeah, well, there are several that they use to bring a pursuit to the end. You know, here at the assignment desk, we cover pursuits all the time, and we hear things like tracking mode when mm -hmm. pursuits are active. So sometimes uh, the LAPD or other various law enforcement agencies will try to stop a pursuit using physical means like mm -hmm. spike strips or a pit maneuver. But other times, the best way is just to get the driver to surrender on their own. And that's what they were trying to do, apparently, in last night's pursuit. They went into something called tracking mode. And tracking mode is when the chasing police cars sort of pull back from behind the pursuit. They might turn off their lights and sirens. They might give that driver a lot of distance. We've seen that before on pursuits that are covered live here on KCAL News. And they just follow that fleeing car with their air unit. Hopefully, the idea is to get the driver to calm down, mm -hmm. think about his options, maybe think that they're not chasing him anymore. And a lot of times that driver will simply pull over and give up. And mm -hmm. once he's out of the vehicle, the pursuit comes much easier for them to take that person into custody. They will swoop right in and get him taken down. You have to think, you know, every situation is different, so they definitely have to assess it uh, based on that as well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So uh, moving on to this story, the funeral of Tyree Nichols is underway at the Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church in Memphis. Civil rights activist Reverend Al Sharpton will deliver the eulogy and Vice President Kamala Harris is among the thousands who are in attendance at the service. Nichols family says they hope his death will not be in vain and are calling for local and national police reform. We are going to continue to fight this fight until we get federal laws change. Now investigators are still looking at all of the individuals involved in his beating and we broke this story. Oh, <laughs> and we broke this story earlier. Also, <laughs> this was another story. Tom Brady says he is retiring for real this time for real for real, real. <laughs> oh, yeah, for real real, for real one real. year ago. Uh, Brady announced his first retirement and then unretired 40 days later. I uh, won't be long winded. I think you only get one super emotional retirement essay and I used mine up last year. So I uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me. 
I like that he poked fun at himself a uh, little I think bit so. there. Do, we, do you actually think he's going to retire? What do you think? You know, I think so. He got so much grief the last time. Yeah. I wouldn't think that he would purposely try to put himself through that again. Plus, I mean, he had such an epic career. Yeah. Why not just take it easy? Uh, I think... Um, the future is bright for, for Tom Brady, obviously. There's also something else. He has uh -oh. a $375 million contract with Fox Sports to be a TV presenter. So that There's that too. also be that thing <laughs> that he may do with his time. Yeah, well, after, I heard acting too. Yes, yeah. life after the NFL. He's got lots of options. So a lot of people obviously talking about this. Uh, a lot of people have opinions on this. Certainly. And we have some of those reactions from social media. So Patrick Mahomes posting three goat emojis. You can see it there. Derek Jeter saying, congrats, Tom Brady, on an unbelievable career. It was fun to watch. Also, from J.J. Watt, who just retired as well, posted, greatest of all time, no question, no debate. It's been an honor and a privilege. P.S. The newly retired group meets on the golf course every morning at 10 a.m. Drinks are on the new guy, so bring your wallet. I wonder how much money he would have to spend if yeah. he actually did go to that. Seriously, <laughs> that drinks are on the new guy. That's a pretty good rule, usually. I love um, it. And just last night, Brady teased the possibility of him calling it quits during his appearance on the red carpet for his new film, 80 for Brady. Uh, when asked what he planned to do in the future, Brady said he might be open to more go. acting roles, just what we were talking about. You know, I, 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 I I like this. I like this. I feel a lot of people who didn't like him obviously like him off the field now, yeah. but um, you can't deny his career. Um, he's a legend. He is the GOAT, um, regardless of what side of the fence yeah. you are. He has a very him. full career Typically. under his yeah. belt. It's Absolutely. okay to try and move on to something yeah, else. Yeah, and take a break, you know, <laughs> relax, sure. go hang out by the pool, play some golf with your buddies. No? Sounds yeah. like a good plan. Okay, that's I hope right we can right. get that someday. <laughs> okay, so remember, KCON News Morning starts bright and early at 4 a.m. I'm there, I know, and we hope you've been here from the start. But if you're just joining us, we have a little something that we put together in case you missed it. I'm retiring. For good. Is it for real this time? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, lots going on. I'm Jamie Yukas, by the way. Okay, so Jamie Yukas. <laughs> in, in the little prompter there, it says you're supposed to say my name, but oh. I just started talking. Well, hi, so. Jamie Yukas. Hi, how's it hi. going? Yes, nice to see you. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Rudebe. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot. <laughs> Kalina, why don't you tell us, because I can hear my microphone on. Uh, what's going on right now? Well, I have a crash on the 210. Crash on the 210, <laughs> okay. Big deal. Big deal. Lots of okay. I don't know. I feel like 13 was such a hard age anyway. I can't imagine having social media at that age. I know. I feel so blessed that we didn't have it I growing do too. Up. Oh, my God. All goodness. the mistakes we made and everything oh. else. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I have Alex Biston and Kalina Estrinos with us. Give Good us morning waves, to you. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I feel like the Brady Bunch in here. <laughs> I can <laughs> <me too. laughs> so happy little top priority area here is Firestone Boulevard for this community. Well, let me tell you the answer. Okay. So stump the studio. We're sticking with the Tom Brady theme today. Okay. Yep. What round was Tom Brady selected for in the 2000 NFL draft? Jamie, I know you're going to know, I know this, this one. one. So just be quiet. Okay. Hold on. Oh, all right. <laughs> And then oh, the maybe I'll give, maybe I'll give you a hit. Break. We all need a hug no, today, don't we? Guys. What is it? What is it? We'll be transparent. We've had a little technical uh, situations here this morning, but we're making it through. Would you guys keep your wedding ring after getting a no. divorce? Yeah, you know, it depends. No. Or well, I'd sell it. <laughs> yeah, right. I would sell it. I was going to say, I she it. got it. I did? I'm, yes, yes, you did. You yes. tested your gut and you got the right answer. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. I like to go with my gut. MVP. <laughs> Ruta Bakabazi, the GOAT. This is KCAL News. We have a lot of fun on the morning show. You should tune in. Coming up next, though, we're asking you, what's the buzz on? Yes, we are talking about Beyonce. She just announced tour dates for her highly anticipated tour, and we're breaking down all of the excitement. You can get in on the conversation on our social media sites at KCAL News Los Angeles. We want to hear from you. We'll be reading your comments live on air. Also, meteorologist Alex Piston will have your SoCal weather when we come back. How are you guys doing? Good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm here. I'm breathing. I'm You're existing. Here. 
Uh, this is the morning wrap, by the way. We are here with Mark Liu and meteorologist Alex Biston. I already asked you how you were doing, but how are you doing again? We're good. I was going to say, how day. are you? Yeah. Kalina I'm anchored great. the 4 a.m. show, and she's here. You're thriving, here. and I, we're so happy what? for you. Thanks, girl. Somehow I'm you thriving. Yeah. We're Bright and as fresh you as do, you, you do. I, I literally told someone the other day, I am probably the most annoying person. I'm the little oh. sister that nobody wanted, but you're stuck with because yeah. I'm like, Hi, good morning, guys. Hi, no, I'm I here. love it. Hey, good got morning. Amazing energy. Oh. We love to see it. It's ridiculous. Okay. We're breaking down what's trending online, okay? You guys have seen what's right. going on online oh, right yeah. now. The current buzz, this is the segment that's called What's the Buzz? The current buzz is surrounding Beyonce. Of course. Mm -hmm. This the is queen. not a drill. So the singer queen. announced her long-awaited tour for her seventh studio album, Renaissance, <sighs> happening today to kick off Black History Month. So she announced the news on Instagram. And according to her official site, the tour will kick off officially in May. And it's kicking off in Sweden. I wish it was LA, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Renaissance album is an ode to black culture, and she's also up for nine Grammy Awards this Sunday. So I'm asking the music experts <laughs> on this panel here, are we excited? Of course. Of course, but I kind of wonder, is are we gonna have like a Ticketmaster fiasco? I was just gonna say the same yeah. thing. Oh. Getting tickets yeah. for her no. tour is gonna be like a battle royale. I mean, Taylor Swift and Beyonce, who is bigger than that, I right? Know. I, I know. mean. You know, I, I'm thinking just because of everything that did happen with Taylor Swift, and obviously Beyonce is a huge star, yeah. maybe she'll do something to try to reach her fans directly. I don't know if she can or what the legalities are around that, but you never know. I have not seen a list of tour venues, but I'm sure they are giant ones. You know? <laughs> yes. I mean, a Beyonce concert is like a life-changing event. I've Absolutely. never been to one. I've kind of always wanted to, but... You know what's funny is, um, so I watched one of her performances just on TV. I think it was the Coachella performance with the full band. Oh, yeah. It was epic so I can't epic. even imagine what it would be like to be there in person seeing oh, that live I know that That's would crazy. be kind of a life-changing experience something that I also would love to do but probably cannot <laughs> get tickets to, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> well let's talk about this a speculation that a new tour uh, announcement was coming reached new heights after she performed at a private concert in Dubai so a lot of people were thinking, hey, maybe this yeah. is the uh, the the initial, what is it? I'm, I'm tired, so what am I trying to say? This is the initial look preview. Yeah, oh, yeah preview. the preview. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Preview for uh, for a concert I tour. mean, if it's Dubai, it's just going to be out of this world, <laughs> over the top big, right? Yes. I mean, it's one of the wealthiest cities right. in the world. Obviously, their yeah. venues are very high tech, and mm -hmm. it's a huge operation. And that so. hotel, the Atlantis Hotel, I, I heard, was listening on a podcast about how it was the grand opening of the hotel and they got oh, Beyonce yes. to come sing mm -hmm. in their grand opening. Can you imagine? I can't, I can't remember how much she was paid, but it was an a insane lot. amount. <laughs> well, so yes. Let's all load up on our private jet and we'll go to Dubai <laughs> and we'll great. see it for I, ourselves. I think we're going to have to win Powerball before <laughs> right. we can actually yeah. go to All of us but together have yeah. to win You know, one. Yes. she's always in LA. She's here. So if you're watching, yes. hold on, let me turn off my alarm. If you're watching, um, come on our show. You yeah, know, of course. we we'll would we would love you. to have you. Yeah. Uh, obviously, <laughs> a, yeah, a yes. lot of excitement oh, revolving this because last time Beyonce went on tour was in 2018. Mm -hmm. That was with her husband Jay Z. This was for the On the Run Part Two, and it's been too long. So, sure. um, I know Alex, you mentioned Ticketmaster, but it seems like the ticketing giant is already taking measures to prevent another there fiasco we like what so. we saw with Taylor Swift. So that is great news. Tickets will be released in a staggered basis. So that seems to be a good option. They even issued a fact page on their website. This is with steps on how verified fans can purchase tickets. So what do we think? Will this stop another melt? I thought that the whole thing with Taylor Swift was with verified fans too. Yeah. But yeah. It, it was, and I think right? it was, you know, certain um, credit card holders yeah. uh, were, were able to get tickets, and I think it was like American Express yeah. card it, holders. Mm -hmm. It was also just an issue of enormous demand. Right. I yes. mean, there yeah. was a That's huge true. amount of demand that I think interfered with the process of buying these tickets, and of course there was the problem with resellers as well. But but I feel like we could expect that with Beyonce, of too. Course. I mean, she's just sure. as big and has a yeah. fan base that's just as, you know, 
into into their their <laughs> queen, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're, they're just she as excited to see yes. Beyonce. Yeah. So, um, I think it's going to be really interesting to see. I, I bet Ticketmaster is a little bit nervous about this. They have a well, second get, chance. I was going to say all eyes on chance. Ticketmaster, yep. right? This is a, their one chance to show. Hey, we listened to you before. Yep. We're going to make a change. We're going to make a difference. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, as you can expect, right? Social media always in our favor. Always. It's on fire on today fire. after this announcement. So there's tons of comments about Ticketmaster and ticket prices. So Alex posted this clip saying Ticketmaster watching the Beyonce fans coming after just dealing with the Taylor fans. <laughs> you can see the crying face there. Yep. Uh, Ken Ken said me after buying Beyonce tickets and I see my landlord. There you yep. go. Look, uh, uh, I can't pay rent. I'd rather go see Beyonce. Also, uh, Liam tweeted me at Beyonce's tour after selling my kidney oh my to gosh. buy the tickets. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, listen, thank you for all of your comments. We love hearing from you, of course. And um, we're going to have to wait and see to see if Ticket Ticketmaster steps it up. Yeah. And also how much those tickets to Beyonce's concert is going to cost. That's going to be the question. Who's going to be able to, to go? Yeah. yeah. Right? It's yeah. not me. Absolutely. Start saving now. <laughs> hey, you never know. I, I'm hoping she does like 10 minutes for $5. Yeah. You know, I'll can take, we just I'll, put that out there? Yeah. I'll take like a $20 seat in the parking lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get any, and yeah. You can sit right outside yeah. of SoFi <laughs> Stadium maybe yeah. and just listen right that'll, that'll in the work. parking lot. Uh, yeah. We can do that too. <laughs> Bring some popcorn and have a good time. Well, now it's time for one of our favorite portions of the show. We're talking about the game. So today we are playing on the beat. This time it's Grammy themed. Oh. So we will listen to the beat of the song and then we'll have to guess who the artist is and also, <clears throat> excuse me, name that song. Okay. So all the artists we're listening to, can you take over for me because I'm choking? Uh, sure, all the artists <laughs> are you. nominated for awards this Sunday at the Grammys, but the songs may or may not be. Okay, so are we all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. Are you ready? I think so. Okay. If you need me to, I'll just say, if uh, you need me to take over, let me know. Yeah. Please. Okay, let's start with this one. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Adele. Uh, Adele. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I was gonna start we're to sing it, and I was like, nobody wants to hear that. Excuse me. Yeah, there we go. Can we listen to the whole song? <laughs> I was waiting for Alex like, to start singing. <laughs> I love Adele. Oh, if, if I love Taylor Swift, I love... Uh, really? I, I did see Adele in I concert. I can feel the Adele energy. I love coming. Adele. <clears throat> yeah. I love when um, her album came out, uh, the, the latest one, and people were posting on social media, like, I'm ready to cry, grabbing yes. like, all the wine, just getting I ready for, oh, for all the so tears. Good. Okay, this is our next song. Are you ready? Oh, um, Beyonce. Is that is that from the last? Who run the world? Girls. Oh, is that it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. Alex is right. Alex right. is right. <laughs> Where is she? Speaking of Pinky. Yeah. There you go. Love, love, that song. love that game. song. I, was I know. Say, she's, 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 she's our three. pop princess. Yep. Yep. Alex, so. like the pop princess. Okay, I we have another song for you. Oh, watermelon sugar. Oh, oh you're, you're so right. good. You're so Harry good at this. Did I get it? Yes, you absolutely did. There you go. Oh, Alex, you are so good. Oh. That video, by the way. I know. <laughs> I might have to blur there out some it is. Mr. Harry Styles. Uh, I love it. OK, do we have another one? I think we have another song. Ooh, can we hear it again? Yeah, can we? Or is we? that not allowed? I don't know that I didn't catch that one. I, I, I didn't catch yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It was just too short yep. for me to get that one. So all three of us are it's not know. in the yep. know. So can we have the answer, please? Coming? No. No. Oh, oh. oh, oh I didn't Bruno. know that, really? I didn't get that one. Oh, I love yeah. that movie. I, That's my such mind a good movie. going there that it might yeah. be a soundtrack. That's a good song and a great movie. It is. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, all right. Do we have one more? Two more. Okay, so here's another one. Oh, Kendrick oh, Lamar. God, you don't even let us try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She is right once wow, again. Wow, Alex. Thank you, God. You are fire. It's a good song. We get away I want this. you on like you some some show guessing these things. Yeah, yeah. She'd win so much money. I remember this is such go. a good song. Oh man, it really is. I love Kendrick Lamar. Alex is winning yep. all of these. She's we have one all. more. Yeah, one got more. one more we for you, Alex. Polina. Come on. Oh, Coldplay. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> 
Okay, I keep so getting it before Mark can even say it. We, I'm sorry. We know that movies are my thing, but clearly I know. music <laughs> well, identification you know what? is you guys, thing. There we go. I'm glad to win a game. For sure. Didn't you post something about Coldplay just yesterday? No. Oh, okay. That Someone else did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she is a fan. Well, yes. hey, since we featured Grammy nominees, it's the perfect time to remind you that you can catch the Grammy Awards Sunday on CBS Los Angeles and also streaming live on Paramount Plus. And keep it on KCAL starting at 4 p.m. this Sunday, an hour before the show. Our very own Suzanne Marquez will report live from the red carpet. She always has a great time. Mm -hmm. It's also a special Grammys edition of The Lot. This is full of Grammy nominees, the Grammy gifting suite, predictions. That's all airing this Friday at 7 p.m. on CBS News Los Angeles. And also, again, streaming on Paramount Plus, Pluto TV, and the CBS News app. A lot of fun this weekend so and a lot fun. of pre preparation going into the for Grammy sure. weekend for sure. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what Suzanne is going to wear. I know. She always has the, best the, the, the red carpet looks, I mean, obviously it's so much fun to, to see who wins and all that kind of stuff, but the, the looks, that's yeah. why we show up, right? I love it. Hey, you know what, why we show up here too? Talk about pet of the day. I know. Love it. Best part Take of the day. a look. We are highlighting Panther. Aww. Look at that face. Our Who's viewers. The good observation. Yeah. The Campos family sent these over, and Panther loves big toys and laying on fluffy soft bed or a pillow. Who doesn't like to do that, right? She also loves treats and chicken. Mmm, mm. I'm hungry. Chicken Who sounds great. Love that? If you think your pet should be on Pet of the Day, just send us a few photos, videos, and a short bio. Just post it on your social media accounts using the hashtag KCOWNews, and we will be looking out for that. All right, we do want to take a look at the forecast right now. What's going on outside, Alex? Oh my gosh, I got to take my Lily out for a walk this afternoon. It's just such a beautiful day. We're looking live over downtown Los Angeles and a really nice day to get outside, take a hike, a walk, go to the beach. We've got lots of sunshine and the good news is less wind. Let's go to Santa Monica where temperatures are around 64 degrees and we will see dry conditions continue at least through the middle and end of the week. Here's a look at our wind. So the good news is wind advisories that we saw issued earlier today have since expired. Expired. Now it's still a little bit breezy through the I-5 corridor into the Ventura County Mountains and all the way down to the coastline, but again, all below advisory level at this hour. High pressure overhead bringing dry conditions and warmer than average temperatures too as temperatures this afternoon rising into the lower 70s. Boy, that's going to feel nice. And the rain sticking uh, is away for now, but we will, of course, see some changes as we head into Sunday and Mondays. I'm watching a system that is going to be bringing rain to Northern California and Central California. And for us here, it's going to bring just a slight chance to see some rain developing Sunday. Uh, we'll see more clouds as well. Temperatures will drop off. So for the next few days, we've got upper 60s to lower 70s, and then temperatures drop to the mid 60s as we head into Sunday. Now across the valleys, what a beautiful Beautiful next few days as temperatures will be around 72 degrees by Saturday and then temperatures dropping into Sunday. So again, we've got that slight chance for some rain. Of course, that's something we will continue to watch. Not a big system here, but we could pick up just a little bit of precipitation. Otherwise, along the coastline, lots of sunshine today. Clouds thicken up into tomorrow. So starting tomorrow morning, we'll see some high level clouds moving on in. That's going to continue into the afternoon hours with temperatures rising into the upper 60s for the weekend ahead. High deserts in the 50s today and feeling upper 60s nearing 70 degrees as we head into Saturday. Kalina. All right, Alex, thank you so much. Now it's time for some birthday shout outs. You can see faces behind me. Happy birthday to Harry Styles, who turns 28 today. Also, actress Julia Garner turns 28 as well. And rapper Big Boy is 42. And three of our viewers are also celebrating birthdays as well. Matt Swan is 59 today. Bob Celesti turns 51 and a happy birthday to Rosie. We have their photos up here behind me as well. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you so much for watching the morning wrap. And if you have a birthday coming up, just let us know. Might put your face on one of these monitors right here. Just post your picture and your age and tag us at KCAL News and we will be on the lookout. All right, don't go anywhere in just a few minutes. Our news coverage continues with Amy Johnson on KCAL News. Amy, you got a lot going on this we morning. We sure do a lot going on. SoCal about to get millions in federal funds to make our streets safer. Where the money is going may surprise you. We're going to have it all for you ahead at noon. I think this is like a good testing ground and a, um, a beacon for other communities. And we're kicking off Black History Month with a look at how local artists 
are joining forces to make their dreams a reality. We will have these stories and so much more for you coming up next at noon. I'll send it back to you, Kalina. All right, Chris, oh, Kristen, Amy, thank yes, you. Okay. You know, it's been a long day for me, Amy. <laughs> I, I know, know you, you are. Very I, love, early. I love your whole fit today. You look great. You thank sound great. And you're Amy Johnson. <laughs> thank you. And that's our show for now. Thank you so much for watching The Morning Wrap. We had such a great time with you. And of course, with Mark and Alex and Amy Johnson here. Special thanks to our viewer as well. Stick around for KCON News at noon. And remember, we are always on at KCONNews.com. Have a great day and enjoy your Wednesday.